your boy King Tyson, and I'm back for to it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, make sure you always watch the full video. That's your right to do. So now Ty has finally spoken out about the rumors going around that she's pregnant. Now on Easter, they did have a gathering and people noticed that Ty wasn't actually drinking at the event. Now there was also this photo of Ty in the back of Deja's video. People stated that Ty appeared to be pregnant as well. So now on Snapchat, Ty spoke about how men want to do everything but commit. It's so funny that you say that because my dad actually told me that. He was just like, if a man don't uh, just do the simple necessities that a man is supposed to do. Like if your car got a... Bro, I hate men that do that, bro. I, I truly hate people that do that. Bro, your rules of life is not the next person's rules of life. These be the reason why it be so hard for us good men to find a good woman because her dad been telling her all the supposed rules of a of a man. No. No. Ladies, look. Take it from a dude. Hey, it might sound foreign. It might sound weird because, you know, most dudes always say it. But I legit, legitly do not cheat. I am so hardly a good hearted person, especially when it, like, when it comes to a relationship. I'm not going to get into a relationship if I know for a fact that's not that's not what I want. Therefore, that's why I'm single now because I can angle this easily. But I can, you know, I can go outside, find somebody, and we can start talking. We start talking. But sad to say, this generation, when it comes to good-hearted people, it's not the time, bro. <laughs> it's not the time. You had somebody from back then, from five, ten years ago, lock in with that person. Do not let them go because you try to find somebody now. It's hard. It's hard, especially if you got real, real pure intentions. But what I was gonna say is this. I said this before though, but look, people, ladies, ladies especially, look, five men can do the exact same thing, can tell you the exact same sentences, whatever, but their intentions behind them are different. That's the thing that you got to figure out. What are your intentions behind what you're saying to me? Some of them, it might be real. Like, like especially like nowadays, how I've been saying like, love bombing go around so many times like bro if i'm a good hurt person and you just you you hit hey you un, you unlock that that part of me that's that super loving and my supposed to hold it back because i don't want to i don't want to love bomb you i don't I'm, I'm not i'm not supposed to tell you like i rock with you i love you i, I support you um like <laughs> Like you can't even do that now. Then like you cannot be a you can't even be a good hearted person. Cause then they oh you're love bombing you're, you're love bombing you're love bombing you, you're trying to manipulate her with, with your feelings. What? What is wrong with y'all, man? That tire. If just anything wrong with your car, your man should be there to fix it or point you to the direction to fix it or at least oh, stay man. on you and make sure you get it fixed. He should never want his lady jeopardizing his life. I think Snapchat muted me because my mouth was very vulgar. But what I said was that a man be ready to give you everything in it. A child, a STD, but they won't commit. So now she finally spoke out. Ty, you too pretty to be talking like that, bro. Like, <laughs> it's just people like you're running to the wrong people. Like, hey, I, it's like I'm a man. I, I run to the wrong females. I run to females that are looking for a check. And they're solely there, solely looking for a check. And my mama told me. <laughs> my mama told me if a girl ain't supporting you, she ain't the one. If she study asking you for some money, study asking you to buy this, to buy this, she ain't got no money herself to pay for something for you, she ain't the one. Now, how dumb would I sound if I really said that? If I was really, like, serious about that? My mom ain't never told me nothing like that, but how dumb would I sound? About these pregnancy rumors, she showed off her body, stated that she's back in the gym, and that she won't be in the inside with the pregnant people this summer. Because we back heavy in the gym with it. <laughs> Y'all see them coming in. <laughs> you thought I was going to be in the house with you. Psych. 
So now as many of you guys know, Amar and Maya have called it quits. Now they've been back and forth off and on for quite some time now, but Maya has been very emotional because she's stating this time it seems like Amar is completely done with her. She was on TikTok and she was basically in tears. Mm. The last message I said when I when I when I was done. No, I'm saying when was the last time you talked to him? The last message when I had sent and I said I was done and like when was it? When was that? Mm. Like the eleventh or something like that. That was the eleventh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So do do y'all always do y'all break up and go days that I talk to each other and get back together? It just be me like like I. I just like he'll just blow up my phone and stuff. Like don't leave, don't leave and stuff. But this time, like it's the So do so like do he be reaching out? I've been there. I've been there, bro. I've been there before. It's like after like when it comes to one, the first breakup, okay. They're like, you know, they go hopefully instantly instantly get get back together. But it's like it, it ain't gonna affect you that much. But have you been been dumped multiple times by the same person over and over and over? It's like I don't want to compare it to a tattoo, but it's like you know how you, know how you get done to it. That's basically what it is. Like I don't know. Like I never. I, I don't watch all their content. I watch some of it. I watch it here and there. But it's like all right. If she's been always been the one, how it sounded it sound like that's what she was trying to say right there. Like she's always the one to leave him or dump him, and she's the one that's ignoring the text message, ignoring the calls, and he's blowing the phone up. After doing that so many times, that last straw, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing like I gave that the first time, I gave that the second time, I gave that the third time, the fourth, the fifth, is I'm done. You say you done, you done. That's what happened to me. Me and my most recent uh, relationship, that's what happened. We kept having these on and off. I kept trying to get her to be uh, back to her girlfriend mode because she got a big head about the things that she was starting to accomplish. And then once it got to the end, it was like, bro, you know what? I'm cool. I ain't even going to waste my time with that no more. That's their video, y'all. Not mine. I don't know what happened. Excuse me. I know it's too late. Can we do for you too? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so like, okay. I feel like I can be a little transparent here. You been that young nigga fucking lot and stuff her. I'm not because I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I be talking about people that be crying on camera and stuff. You should never. So I just can't turn. Well, I'm not gonna say I don't talk. I, I ain't gonna say I talk about people, but like I just don't understand why people do it. But yeah. I'm not okay. This is. Just, yeah, I'm I'm smiling and I'm laughing, but it's just like I can tell by her voice she's fading, but this is not no I mean not saying that she's not emotional, but she's emotional and she's fading, so that's why she's smiling. I do the same thing. Nothing is funny, nothing is smileable, but it's just like you just have to laugh to keep from crying. Literally. Something that he already had. That's crazy. He used to smile. How? He already had it. He used to smile. <laughs> I never even know who this girl was before him, bro. I'm sorry. How did he smile? Hey, so killing is it's so ugly. Cause it's just like, why do I have to go through this? Like. <sighs> I can't even, I can't even go a day with just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to cry on here and I'm just. Y'all did pretty EDM. That's what her hair looks like. She changed it. I just feel like it's just not fair. Don't be me. The person that I am not the one. The person that was up 
It's not fair to like. People can just go on with their life just knowing that you just. <laughs> that dude, that really do be crazy. Like how you can go from the talking stage, the heavy talking stage, to being together every single day, to love you, love like love you back, love you more. I can't wait to see you. To y'all have like deep, long conversations. Like y'all know almost everything about each other. To like you know you love. <laughs> You know, one of the reasons why you like, you know, one, like, one thing that shows you that you love somebody, when you're able to sit in a bathroom with them while they're taking the number two, and you're still, you don't smell nothing. Or, if you do, it don't even smell that bad to you. Like, it's nothing. It's it's whatever. You're sitting there, you're, you're focused on the conversation. You, you, you can be sitting in the bathroom, cheaping up, all type of stuff, bro. To go to, at the end, you don't even, you, you almost hate that person. That's literally crazy, bro. That's literally crazy. Like how like how relations can go from that, from the puppy super dummy lovey to the super toxic, throw the <laughs> throw the toxic waste in a in a disposal thing. Like that's crazy, bro. <laughs> I love y'all too. She cheated though, bro. Like, y'all be sitting there, y'all be sitting there, like, she, like she's a perfect angel. She didn't do nothing. Okay. Oh, hey. She cheated, bro. Can you hear me? Because I don't know. Mm-hmm. Oh. Why you just, that girl just came in here and said your body is too, you look pretty, and you didn't even say thank you. I don't know. I just feel like it's just yeah. not fair because. Like, I'm the one hurt. I'm the one who who had to just walk away because I, I was left with no option but to walk away. And just, like, people just, like, moving around and just moving, like, you didn't hurt somebody that you quote-unquote love. It's just, like, an all, just all an awesome. Trust me, this is... It, I ain't gonna say trust me, but like I know him personally, like, I know what he's going through. But as humans, as you got the one that will show something on the internet, and then you got the ones who won't. He's gonna put on a, he's probably gonna put up a front. I'm gonna talk to all these different girls. I'm gonna hang with the squad because he has something to get, keep his mind focused off having these sad moments. I felt, I, hey, crazy enough, I felt this exact same way, bro. Like, my ex cheated, she left. It was like, bro, like you going out, you doing your, y'all having fun, y- y'all doing all this and that, doing that. I'm here, I'm right here, sick of the dog, bro, hurting, in pain. I can't, like literally, like literally, bro, I couldn't sleep, I can eat, I can chief up, nothing, bro, without repeating this girl's name in my head, like all throughout the day, and then it got to the point where if I'm trying to go to sleep. Once I say her name in my like in, in my mind, in my heart, or whatever, bro, I'm up. It could be two or three in the morning. Once I think of her, it's over. I'm up for the rest of the day. So I've been there. I've been there. It took time to get over it. Trust me. Once you start focusing, once you get back to focus on who you are and realizing that person probably don't deserve you. You might miss them. You might love them, but they didn't deserve you. That's why y'all not together. Even that, it's not easy just to, you know, take on the chin, but, hey, it'll get easier. Up in the face and then just moving like it was my fault. You cheated. You cheated too, little baby. Come on, now. You're not me. You didn't do it. Nobody feel nothing. Nobody feel how I feel. Oh, so how can I get it? Like, I actually do want to get some hair. Unlike the people in the comments. Yes, they're definitely hurting. Huh? Have you texted my business number? I'll text you that. I just yeah, feel like. Once you over it, okay. he's gonna, he gonna feel it. <laughs> people, call me, people call me right now. Look, that's crazy, man. That's crazy.
That's that, that's literally crazy. Sit here talking about exes, bro. And one called me right now. That's crazy. Now that's crazy. <laughs> Ain't nothing happening. Sorry. I'm gonna definitely regret getting on here. He didn't know, and once again, it always goes back to big up. Anytime we are in public, I'm paying attention. Gotta have these moments to get over with the dudes that I am here. Sitting there, holding all this, and I understand and learn it. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm so ready for school to start. What's today's date? I don't know. This is my biggest thing. So glad I'm leaving the keys. It's the 13th. School starting soon. Pharmacy technician. Oh wait, I never did put my other phone on the charger, huh? Best. Huh? Did I ever put my other phone on the charger? No. No, they don't say look for the charger, there. <laughs> I'm a Sagittarius. Oh. Oh. It's not much money in it. My ex that cheated with the Sagittarius too, bro. Only Sag I'm cool with is my best friend, bro. That's <laughs> She cheated, look. Sagittarius ain't ish, bruh. Team Gemini, bruh. Team Gemini. Well, I feel like... I feel like eventually that's what I'm going to do. A pharmacist. Uh, she ain't talking about nothing right here, bruh. But, that's... Hey, people. If you're going to some... Yeah, you might you might regret hopping on on the internet or some posting posting you know what you're going through, but you gotta get it off your chest. That be that's that's the thing about it. And not like for me the the thing that helped me get over my first major breakup was one getting back to thinking like bro like you're not like before you met her you was already doing what you you was already doing you so therefore get back to doing you. Yeah, it's not easy said and done. And then two, you got to get off what you feeling. You can't let it sit on your chest. Think think of, uh, like, my, my greatest analogy is, like, I'm trying to look for, I'm trying to look for, look, look for a water bottle. But like this, think of, think of your brain and your brain as, as the, the bottle of water or the bottle. The stress and emotions and everything is the water that goes into it. You can only fill that bottle up with so much. Eventually, it's going to overflow. And by that point, it's too late. You got to. <laughs> you gotta find some way to fix something, but you gotta get that thing, get them feelings and emotions off your chest. Hey, even for me, it might sound crazy again, but I literally had a notebook, bro. I literally had a notebook, and I wrote out anything I wanted to say to my ex, even though I couldn't say it to her because you know we was having beef. But I wrote out everything. I had I had conversations through the through the book and in my brain, the conversations I wanted to have with her, and it helped me get over it, for real, because. Best place to explain something to you is you somewhat on certain situations. So on some certain, certain situations, you probably do need somebody else's uh, uh, outlook or intake or, or look on, on, on to the situation. And I had that too. Shout out to my bro Darnell. Every every conversation, bro, like he was going through something with his girl. I was going through something with my ex. It was like, bro, like so we sit there chief up for hours, bro, and have conversations about <laughs> our relationship problems. Sometimes you need that too. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, catch you next.